Good evening, this is Miss Cassandra with our second night of the International Children's Story Bible. And tonight we're going to read God Made Our World. Okay, so we're going to read this. I hope you're taking your bath. I hope you feel very good and very comfortable and you're ready for a bedtime story so you can get some really good rest, right? All right, let's get started. God Made Our World. In the beginning of time, God made the world and everything in it. Earth was empty and dark. So, the first thing God made was light. He made day and night. The second day, God saw that water and land were all mixed up. So, he fixed that too. God spent the next five days making the sun and moon, planting plants, making fish and birds. He made big animals and small animals. He made wild animals and tame animals. And he told each kind of animal to make more animals just like itself. Then God smiled because what he had done was very good. But wait, God had one more thing he wanted to make. And guess what that one more thing was? You and me. Yes. So you can find that in Genesis 1, verses 1 through 25. Isn't that awesome? That is so awesome. God made our world. Okay, so what we're going to do is, Miss Cassandra's going to take this purple marker. I love all my markers, all different colors, right? And we're going to put a check here because we have completed... God made our world. Now let's go to a second story. Our second story, our second Bible story for tonight is obey your parents. Okay? I know you don't want to hear it, but it's the truth and we just have to do what the word says, right? Obey your parents. Children, you should obey your parents. The Lord wants you to. It is the right thing to do. God's word says this, honor your father and mother. And we're going to add honor your father, your mother, your aunties, your uncles, those that are elderly, honor them. This was the very first command that God gave with a promise. And here's the promise. If you obey your parents, everything will be well with you and you will have a long life on earth. What a great and wonderful promise. And that is in Ephesians 6 chapter 6 through 3rd verses. So let's just honor our parents, honor our mother and father, no matter how old you get, no matter how young you are, it's the right thing to do, right? That's what God says, and he says that that makes him happy when we are obedient. So those are our two stories for tonight. And I hope and pray that you have an awesome night. I hope and pray that you have great dreams, that you dream big, and that you discover that you're an awesome person. How about that? This is Miss Cassandra with Just Read Savannah. Have a good night.